Hey everybody, Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific here. You know, we're in the middle of August right now, and uh, August 15th, I believe, is full moon. Um, but it gives you enough time to get ready to go out to your favorite dark sky site at the end of this month. And uh, if you do, you're going to see, you know, if it's dark, clear, you're going to see an incredible Milky Way stretching overhead. Uh, the Milky Way in the summertime is uh, certainly my most favorite time of the year because it just it looks so awesome to see the bulge of the, uh, the center of our galaxy near Sagittarius and um, you know to make out you can make out some nebulosity naked eye uh, but uh, through the course of the night uh, this late in the summer you know you would if you stay up late enough you're going to be able to see a lot of the uh, fall time uh, constellations but if you don't have a you know uh, a instantly recognizable you know memory of where the constellations are then it's probably a good idea that you get a planisphere now this one let me give you a little bit better shot of this this one is um, our newest one this is by uh, the famed celestial cartographer his name is Will Tyrion and this is a double-sided planisphere, okay? It works from uh, uh, zero degrees latitude, so you could be at the equator all the way up to 60 degrees north. Most planispheres are rated for maybe within a, you know, a 20 degree latitude range, something like that. Um, it's made out of uh, durable plastic, uh, so it's going to last for a long time, but all you have to do with any planisphere is you match up uh, the month, so you can see the months here, and then there are days that go like from 0 to 30 here, and, uh, and then on the inner scale here is time. That would be midnight, for example, okay? So if I wanted to find August 14th at midnight, then I would just rotate this around until I line up exactly with uh, the number 14, and then this is where the uh, this is where the North Star would be. Uh, this is your southern horizon, and this becomes your northern horizon if you're at the equator. Of course, you're like near Arkansas, you're going to be around 30 degrees, 34 degrees, something like that. Um, but if you live up in more northern climes, then of course you've got uh, more. You know, the North Star appears higher and higher in the sky, and so you can see how things. Um, literally, uh, you know, start moving from the uh, from the east and set in the west, and um, uh, so the this the you know the the planisphere keeps you in check with all the constellations that are up there. This uh, this hazy blue uh, part right here is a, is the Milky Way itself, and um, there are legends here to find. Uh, you know, certain celestial objects, you know, whether globular clusters or galaxies, they are, there are some listed on here. Uh, and then on the other side is a magnitude, a star magnitude listing here. Um, the thing that's a little bit unusual about this particular planisphere is that it is double-sided for the northern hemisphere. Some of them are double-sided so that you get the southern hemisphere, you know, if you were down, say, like in Australia, you got uh, or, you know, where I was in Chile uh, recently. But um, uh, this one is designed so that you've got a northern hemisphere view that is undistorted for southern hemisphere use. So again, you've got your latitude lines to go by, um, but uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the uh, different constellations as they would pass overhead. And this helps you become more knowledgeable about the sky. Now to help you out with that, you might uh, want like a uh, red flashlight. Uh, I, I've got, uh, you know, we have a good red flashlight. It runs off one single AA battery. It has an LED light in here. And if you don't have, if you don't have, um, uh, you know, um, a telescope, you might have a pair of binoculars. And so. Probably in uh, one of my next shows that I'll do, uh, we'll talk about binoculars that are good for astronomy, but I can tell you that almost any binocular is better than no binocular at all. Uh, binoculars are really just two telescopes uh, tied side by side, and um, 
you know, the larger the aperture of the binocular, the more light gathering ability you got. And so that becomes better uh, for observing those faint fuzzies in the sky. They're also great, you know, if there's going to be a good comet out, for example. But uh, anyways, uh, summertime's the best time to get out uh, to see uh, our Milky Way here in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, I hope you get out there. Uh, stay safe. Uh, stay hydrated when you're out there as well. And uh, keep looking up.